Hello, Ran here, AK Mac, and welcome. So, the Prospector. Recently revealed was the Misk Prospector, which is the small mining vessel. We got a little video, it's about a minute and 40. Now, we know that 3.1 is when mining is intended to come along, and logically, when the Prospector is due as well. Does this mean we'll get it early? I doubt it. But anyway, let's take a look at the videos frame by frame and just sort of see what the crack is. So, starting on the second frame, they have a great use of the MISC language. We know that each manufacturer shares the same aesthetic, very similar to the Starfarer's catwalk on the rear, of, on the top of the, the Prospector. Lots of smooth, glossy lines. Now, the next shot is great for capturing the imagination. Whether the outpost in the background is open to explore is unknown, but sitting in solitude, mining will be great. The sun is rising. It really inspires me to mine. The next scene it has the cool mining arm just protruding out, looking very technical. It doesn't appear to have two of the saddlebag containers on the side, so you get the impression it's already deployed two of them, you know, filled, filled them up and deployed them. You can also see the top fin, which is well known in all MISC ships. The scene after this is sort of a close-up of the mining laser, and it looks fantastic. The sound alone gives that feeling that you're boring down cracking into the land, but I wouldn't get too close. The sheer power coming from this, this mining laser and the soft ambience of, of the planet just kind of contradicts each other but really you know makes me makes you want to get into the ship you can see some interesting lights either side of the laser as well now this i would assume is more to help view the section of land that you are mining on it is possible that there could be a screen in the cab with the sort of visual look of the the area maybe it's to light it up for you but it could possibly be the scanners but i honestly think that they are probably further on underneath the ship in the next scene you can hear some sound of the wind and obviously using this prospector on different planets and various weathers will likely make what could be a tedious job more fun. It's unknown how well it's going to play out. I will be doing uh, a career video on mining later on uh, where we'll go more into depth on that. But the cockpit has a great open window. The only other ship by, by MISC that has this is the Reliant. Obviously the, the Freelancer and the Starfarer have their small visor-like windows. Great field of view for the prospector. And you can also see top panels, again, similar to the Reliant for the, for the cockpit or for the pilot. So you can see some more information up there. Also, something to point out is the cockpit is completely sealed off from the rest of the ship. So if you accidentally hit maybe, for example, a dangerous pocket of gas, the rest of the ship should, should be safe, provided it's not a huge amount of gas. So if you uh, are just letting it mine on its own and you're in the back, or you've got some friends around who are in the back of the ship and you're in the cockpit, they should be safe. The scene after this is the beginning of the internal shots. Now this is to the rear of the living space. It varies from the original concept slightly for the interior. You can see they've added a section in between the toilet and the bed. It looks like a water section, possibly a food dispenser above it too. This could play into the recent discussions they've been having regarding survival on planets uh, and all the sort of commodities. This could be now where they add all the commodity stations for each ship. But these shots seem to transition. Could either be that it's during mining and not during mining, or possibly, which seems a bit more uh, more logical, the transition into an, an emergency situation because I have these these sort of different lighting and emergency lighting going off. It could be either. I'd love to know your thoughts on that one. But also throughout the ship, they have labelled where each component belongs. These are the areas where you'll need to head to to fix any damaged components. So pay attention to them. Plus some storage below. The next scene shows the toilet area with a sink and a survival kit. After that, you got to see, this is opposite the bed, the mining controls. Now, this is uh, probably each switch looks as though it controls some function of the storage tank. So maybe you can flick the switch to release the tanks, allowing them to be picked up by a friend or another person with a hauler. And the panel will likely show information on how the mining is going, the potential scanned mining areas, as well as most likely the situation of the mining laser. So it's health, it's uh, the heat the power that's being drawn up, just so you can maintain it and make sure that it's not going to overheat and, and explode. Anyway, it was only a short video, so this has tended to be a short video and I've waffled on long enough. The Prospector is looking very, very cool. I'm not sure how exciting the gameplay will be. I expect it'll be quite therapeutic, though, chilling on a, on a planet away from most people, whether you're, you know, whether you're alone or with friends. It is going to be a lot of fun, I expect, just relaxing, listening to the radio. I do love this ship and I look forward to using it in the verse when she's ready. Most likely 3.1. We're still waiting on 3.0, so a little while yet. But let me know your thoughts, guys. Are you excited for mining? Are you excited for this? Don't forget to subscribe for more Star Citizen content. Hit that like button. It really helps me get noticed. Follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, and I shall see you next time.